Hi, at my little workbench. I'm gonna give you some project updates, mainly on my passenger consist that I am working on, repainting in uh, our home railroad colors. After that, we'll head down to the basement, show you some layout updates, some progress, some mistakes I've made, and that's gonna probably be it for this week. Stand by, uh, flip the camera around, and we're going to see the progress of some work we're doing. So, these are all the trucks for my streamlined passenger cars. They got the same silver treatment. They look pretty good when you get the wheels back on them. All the wheels are here. I gotta clean up some of them. As you can see, some of them have a little bit of rust on them. Nothing we can't clean. I'm not sure if I showed this yet. This is the um, color orange I'm using for all my uh, home railroad stuff. Picked it up at my local hobby shop. This is my observation car. It's got orange paint, but that's my orange carpet. <coughs> I'm gonna get some people to uh, uh, glue in there before I put the top back on. It's gonna get the same orange stripe down the side. Haven't decided how I'm doing it since the car is actually different from the rest of them. These are, I haven't started this one yet. Gotta be careful, he's got some wet paint on him. He's already got the orange stripe. I painted the end, still needs another coat of paint. The other side's already done. Same with this guy. Still needs another touch-up coat, but he's done. Still haven't decided what I'm doing with the decals. Um, but for the most part, that's what's going on up on the workbench this week. One thing I almost did forget is my second locomotive going into our silver paint scheme. It's going to get the same orange stripe down the center as my other silver locomotive, which is down on the runway. Or, not down on the runway, <laughs> down on the layout. I think I may take him back out for one more coat of silver paint before I start throwing the orange stripe on. This chassis is around here somewhere. I'm placing the motor on him. Not entirely sure where I put it at the moment. So we're just not going to show that. So. <laughs> An error in laying my track right here and I tried to fix it once and just made it worse so what I'm actually gonna do is pull out this small section of track come back here install a bigger section of track soldered to the rest of my turn and go all the way up to the turnout and it's gonna make my turn come out so much cleaner without the kink that I ended up putting in. So as you can see I've got my section of repair track glued down. I've got all my yard track and spur track all done and glued. Um, neither section of spur track is powered yet. I have to climb underneath the table and hook all that up. Being I wasn't using it yet, I wasn't exactly in a rush. I've got this turnout functioning, uh, both sides. I've got to set that one up. I've got to set that one up. And then do all of these. Um, trains do cross over this real nice. Um, these are used turnouts off eBay. So they're not perfect. So I've got to actually play with them when I put them back to their straight position. Um, I'll replace those eventually. But right now they function for enough. I've started filling in some of the uh, railroad ties as I go around. The intention is to get them all done, run trains for a while, and then start ballasting. <coughs> then I will um, get some green or brown or a combination thereof of latex paint. 
and uh, seal up everything and then I'll start ballasting. Actually going to um, my switch panel is going to be here. The only stuff that right now I'm going to control by switches is power to this track, that track, that track, that track, and that track. Um, so I'll have a small switch panel here so I can turn those tracks off when I'm not using them. They're still going to function off of my inside track control. I'm not getting that fancy yet till I have to expand. Going to continue the wood along this side for a couple small scenery spots. Um, I'm actually going to put cup holders in so my kids will stop putting drinks on the table. So I'll stop putting drinks on the table. And then we'll get some small fascia board to go around. Oops, not even pointing in the right spot. To go around the outside to keep any derailments from falling off the table. Um, I've actually got one casualty, that yellow boxcar right there. It's actually broken. Got to put him back together. He was a casualty, fell down. Uh, so is that green box or a uh, green tanker car over there, but I've already fixed him. See my track weights in the background. I put all the canned goods back, so I'm just using what I still had down here. And uh, we're almost there for uh, completed track work. Somebody had commented uh, in a Facebook group about the badges that I have for my kids. Um, part-time graphic designer so I just did these up in Photoshop with a picture our little uh, railroad company logo and they got the greatest kick out of it I also take them away when they get in trouble and can't drive the train so it's kind of like their train driver's license and they uh, they like that <laughs> I also wanted to make a quick shout out to Mocan Lines, Axel, stop being lazy, get to work on your layout, and stop using your track plan as an excuse.